Alright, welcome to Fate of Betula. This is the second episode that we're doing here on the channel. If you haven't seen the first one, check it out. The link will be in the description. We got ending zero in that one. Um, according to the Steam page, it has ten endings. So today, we're going to try and get some more of those endings. See what we can't find, see what secrets you missed. Um, without further ado, let's just hop right in. Last time... We poisoned that poor old little kitty cat. So today we're gonna try to not, not poison things. Um, let's see how that goes. It's probably a good idea. Boop. Yeah, so for anyone who may be confused, what I gather is this boy here is the sacred birch. Um, it's like magic, keeps everything in here from dying, from, um, Fading away into non-existence. Um, that's why in the last episode when we poisoned it, everything just went yoink. Bloop. Stopped existing. We went that way. Had the whole freaking dream experience. Poisoned our boy. I'm just gonna ignore him. <laughs> and we're gonna go this way. I've not been over here yet. Ooh. I'm loving it. Loving the vibe. Mm, something about this well makes me uncomfortable, though. Hello? A jar. Oh, I fell in the well. Okay. Oh, it's a little man. It's a little man. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big hit dog. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Who the hell are you? You know what? It doesn't matter. Maybe you can help me. You're standing before my life's work. I categorize and study magical phenomena. As such, here and there, I have been cursed. One such affliction is that I cannot open wooden doors. <laughs> okay. I'm stuck. Final wish is to create something without death. Unfortunately, the skull of a previous immortal is needed. Only one I know of lives behind a wooden door. Just my luck. If you can give me that skull, we may never have to meet death. Brother, I hate to break it to you, but it seems like you're already stuck without death. Based on the other boys I talked to. A little creaky footsteps. What does this say? It's a page from a book here. Magical fetishes. Oh. There's this... A tales of a glass jar that can only hold what is remembered. Captures art that is truly desired by the eye of a lay beholder. Memories of the dead can take form within the jar and is often... Okay, so... Our boy from the last episode who's like, Oh, give me the art I seek. We'll stick the freaking painting in the jar. Oh, does he need the skull of this thing? I wonder... We're gonna go help our, um, <clears throat> we're gonna go help our dream boy out, our little artiste, get his, um, painting that he wishes. Grab the knife. Boop. I'm coming, brother. I'm coming. While I'm back here, I'll, um, cut the boat off as well get the fishing rod so we can try to not kill the cat we'll give the cat a good meal it's what he deserves oh shoot hold on bud hold on bud how convenient isn't that very lucky for him that he wants a painting and I got a jar that can capture paintings Yes, have you seen a painting around here? Oh yeah, bud, you can, it is your lucky day. Now watch this. <gasps> oh my god! You found it! It's not quite as profound as I remember. I guess I was setting myself up for disappointment, though. 
for an eternity, this painting has only existed in my mind. It's still gorgeous and I'm beyond thankful. Yeah, this is literally my only other possession. Is it your beret dog? What the frick is that? Oh, what is this? Liquid bone, it's your bones. Thanks dog. Glad to have your bones. Glad to have your bones. Get that knife out. Cut the boat. Meet the boat. Meet the boat. I'm like a speedrunner, dog. Look at this. Hopping in the water. Shortcuts. It was totally on accident, by the way, but um, I'm gonna roll with it. Hello, boat. Boat, boat, boat. Boat boy. Boat boy, I want your rod, boat boy. Mm, yes. I'm gonna feed him one of the good fish. I don't trust these fish. A few inches later. Hmm. Boop. Fish. If I could wish for just one dish, then I would wish for fish. Why was I looking up? It was weird. I'm just now noticing that the footsteps correspond to where you are. <gasps> you give a man a fish, you eat for a day, you teach him to fish. He um has a lot of fish. Nope. Okay. Ah, delicious, huh? That's a crunchy fish. It's disgusting. Thank you for the energy. I needed it. I should return the favor. Here, take this for your troubles. I know we produced plenty of it back home. Though I can hardly remember my home. Fire! Everyone's giving me little pots of goop. What is this goop? Oil. Oh, he's a desert cat from the oil deserts. Is that okay? That's okay to say, right? A lot of oil comes from deserts. Hmm. Interesting. Do we do it? Do we do it? That seems lame. Seems like a cop out. We're doing it though. We're trying it. We'll see what happens. Tree boy, drink up. We'll try the liquid bone. Liquid bone. Liquid bones. <laughs> what? A real disappointment. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Uh. No one is a skin for touch, okay? <laughs> At least Halloween will be fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ending five bones. Okay, we got the fifth ending. Interesting. I think that was so short that I'll hop back in real quick. I'll run. I'll get the, um... I'll get the freaking fish again and see what happens when we give it oil. One eternity later. Alright, we're back. I ran around, got the boys fish, fed in the fish, heard the thing, about the fires, back home. Oil. Oil. Oh. 
Was that say parasites? Achievement unlocked parasites? We have solved many issues. Though nothing claims the whims of nature. A small percent have made things far worse. Oh no! A parasite cannot survive without a host. So the opposite is not true. The birch's roots will flow to hell. Its branches will rise to heaven. Overgrown. It will reclaim what is dead. Ending one. Parasites. Alright, there we go. Endings one and five. Um, interesting. I feel like that was like a, a commentary on oil and the environment and people being parasites or something. That's what I'm feeling. Um, very interesting. Um... That was quick. If you liked the video, drop a like. If you didn't, dislike. Leave a comment. Uh, hit the bell. Subscribe. All that nonsense. Um, only if you want to, of course. Because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you got free will. Um, yeah, well, I'll see y'all in the next one. Gonna hop right back in right now. Right now in, in Nick time. And record another episode. Because that was fast as heck. So... See you in the next one.